Okay, Dad, uh, what tree have we got here and what are you going to prune? This is an apricot tree and I'm going to uh, uh, keep the fruit wood close to the main arm so that it doesn't get too far out so that the tree then with the weight of the fruit on the end will come down here and break the limb. So this, this old wood here, there's some fruiting wood there and there, so I'm going to just cut it there so that the apricots will form and stay near the main arm. This also is fruiting wood here. These little shoots are the fruiting wood for next year's fruit. So we leave them there and this, this one here I'm going to cut down to here so that the, the buds that will come out of there will be little fruiting wood like this down here. Down there. So I'll leave that there. Now this is all fruiting wood here. Nice fruiting wood at the end there. But it's getting near the end of its life. So that's why we have prepared some new wood to take place of when this goes. Coming up here. I don't want to get too high up in the tree, so I'll cut this, cut this piece out here. And this here is where the fruiting wood for next year will come. It won't be apricots this year because they're not multiple buds like that down there. So what I'm going to do is to just to cut that off there so that next year this this will be fruiting wood it won't be this year so <clears throat> this is as high as i want this tree to go so i'm just going to cut that old little bit of wood off so that next year this will be fruiting wood there's there's the fruiting wood for this year there's the apricot will form there and this here will form for next year so we go up the tree and this tree is, this is being what they call spent wood. There's nothing going to be on there and it's getting up too high and we don't want it to come out too far. So what I'm going to do this year, I'm going to cut that, that piece right out and use this piece as a leader. This is where the new shoots will come and I will leave it to go to there. So you have an outside bud going there, to, so it'll come out there, and I don't want it to go any higher than my hand is, because uh, we want to put a net over it, and we've got plenty of fruit down here, so why go any higher? So that's it. this is here is fruiting wood coming out here, and so I'm going to cut that off there because I don't want it to come out any further, but I'll leave this here for fruiting wood for next year and there's your fruit there there so that's as far as we want the fruiting wood to come out same over here I'll cut that off there and use that for fruiting wood next year we come around this side of the tree where where all this is fruiting wood here now this is this is what they call spent wood because it has got rid of all the fruit down there and it's only at the end and it's wasted growth so what we tend to do is because this will be spent after this year's fruit I will cut that new wood in there where next year that will produce fruiting wood like this come down here and I just cut it in there short because we don't want too much shade in the tree then you come down here where this is going in internally and so we'll cut this one right out because it's only going to shade the tree and uh, we want the fruit to be on the outside so it gets the sunlight and not shaded. Looking across here I have noted that this, this wood has, has died out and so I will cut, cut this dead wood right out because um, it has either diseased or been shaded out that is that is the dead wood dead wood there so we cut it right right out just a minute
try to keep a nice clean cut and then I'll paint it so that any gamosa spores that are flying around don't get into that cut so we've got a, a little while in which to do it this here has got fruiting wood where it was there so I'll just cut it back there for this year and then see how that develops then that we might replace that if a shoot comes out there down lower for, for the following year. Also in here this is going to be um, shaded off uh, right in there so I'm going to cut this one right out because we don't want all this wood inside the tree so I'm otherwise it will die out because this is our fruiting wood here. Coming up here we have healthy fruiting wood here so I'll cut all that back so we keep the fruiting wood back near back near the main arm. Here we have part of our net um, uh, frame that we put the net over. You can see up here that the net has been over and pulls that over so we don't want that to uh, to go uh, any higher so I'm going to cut this wood out here it's getting too high and I will cut this back to here this year and then I'll thin out this fruiting wood this is older fruiting wood so I'll cut that out and I'll cut that wood out there there's a young shoot there so to balance it out I'll cut it off there so that's thinned it out to so you spread your fruit uh, along the tree down here we come down to here this is going nowhere and it's only causing a, a cluster of leaves which is going to shade out the wood so I'm going to thin that out there and thin that out there just cut it back there this here to finish this limb off is going internal so I'm going to cut this right out at the base and this little dead piece here cut it out and that's where all your fruit is coming down this main arm so <coughs> we come around here and thin that back now looking also looking at this tree I have found that this in here is competing with this one and this is shading that one out. So to open the tree out, I'm going to get a saw and cut that one out. 